What's going on guys? It's your boy Fox back in the house with another Actually, this is uh, an anime first impressions video uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of these for the, all the new shows that I have that I am currently watching in this new fall season of anime Whether it started or not. I don't know. I don't keep up with seasons like that. I know it's I know it's going on right now, but one of the, sh the show I'm talking about today is called High School Prodigy Pro uh, Prodigies have it easy even in another world. If it sounds like a mouthful, it is because it is. And the reason is, this is a new anime that is out on Crunchyroll. Um, it, uh, and if you're wondering, it does have a light novel adaptation. Um, I don't know if it has a manga, but it's funny to me because I was actually going to pick one of this title up. It was just I had other titles that I wanted to get first before I got this. And then I noticed it was getting its own anime. So I was like, I'm going to watch the anime and then probably pick up the light novel or later if it has a manga i'm gonna get that uh instead but i like if it doesn't oh well that's fine but if you're wondering what it's about it is about obviously high school prodigies how many prodigies are we talking about we are talking about seven i cannot remember all of the names but i'm going to focus on the main one who seems to be the de facto leader because he is the leader of he's the uh not the emperor what uh, the Prime Minister of Japan. His name is Mikogami Tsukasa. There, like I said, there are seven protagonists, but Mi Mikogami seems to be the de facto leader, mainly for the fact that he is a prodigy, but his prodigy title is he is the top politician in, I, I think, in the world. Yeah, all of them are, they're prodigies in their own right. You have Mi uh, Mikogami, like I've said a thousand times, he is a top politician. You have a swordsman, you have a, a journalist, you have an inventor, you have a doctor, and you have an entrepreneur. They are all they are all prodigies in their field, and they're all in high school. Oh, and you have a magician. So yeah, some of them are weird. The swordsman and the magician, I'm like, okay, okay, whatever. But yeah, so the story kicks off. You get introduced to all of them. I'm going to leave pictures up and all that. Uh, they all somehow end up on a plane together and the plane is made by the uh, top inventor of the world the one of the, she's all like I said she is one of the protagonists in it uh, where they're going I have no idea but uh, the plane crash lands obviously in another uh, world this is the isekai anime and all that the, the season is never the season is never short of isekai but I like this one actually so after they crash land, they wake up in a in a random village. The village is called Elm Village, and they have, and it's mainly populated by uh, beastmen. You know, like uh, and when there's one elf, you have elf and beastmen in there. One elf and mostly beastmen. But when but the reason I'm focused on Mikogami is because he is the first one to wake up and he addresses the whole situation. And I like how they handled it because most of the time with Isekai is like you know. The main protagonist or protagonists, plural, they either uh, die or or, or or end up like uh, our characters did. They just somehow get teleported or whatever. But they usually end up just like freaking like smooth out, and then we get like a whole long drawn out backstory on who they were and all that. This anime uh, pretty much addresses that like up like within like the first few seconds, uh, like. You know what you know who each character is by their title and all that. You don't know their whole backstory and all that, but we'll learn that as we go. But you, but you don't really need to know the backstory. You know who they are, like the Mikugami, politician. Uh, this other character, swordsman. This character is a magician, top magician in the world. Okay, cool. That's all I really need to know. So when Mikugami wakes up, he's greeted by the elf and one of the and uh, one of the leaders of the uh, village. She was a, a beast woman and all that. They explain to them. He, they explained to him that like, well, we saw this giant bird-like thing fall and crash land into the ground and all that, and y'all were there, so we, you know, we weren't just gonna leave you there, so we took you back to the village and bang, here you are. Now, like I said, I already like, I already liked how it started because we got we pretty much got all the info that we needed for the most part on who they are. Now, this episode is, is spent with. Uh, and they actually skip like the whole like uh, adjustment phase like you know how it is like okay uh i woke up in this new world okay cool whatever i'll, I'll do what i got to do and then we'll waste like you know a few months but by episode by episode you know like showing them getting acclimated to their new life and all that we kind of get a time skip in this episode it, it skips to like two months 
or so, or maybe like a few months into the future with them. And they're all, they're, like the magician of the group, he's still trying to, you know, he's still trying to comprehend because obviously you're going to have someone like that in the group. But most of them are like, okay, this is where we are. What are we going to do? So they admit, so after they get their bags they, and they finally, they finally set up on a plan on what they're going to do, which is pretty much help this village out, make it prosperous and also figure out how we can get back home and why we're here in the first place which is oddly suspicious anyway that seven of the most in like i said these are prodigies but these are se these seven kids are the most powerful kids in the world you have the inventor the doctor an entrepreneur the prime minister they are nothing to sneeze at, at all and how they all ended up on the same plane going to a random destination Hopefully they'll explain that. But so after that, they figure out and once they come up with their plan, they start setting things in motion and very quickly, might I add. The inventor goes back to the um to the plane crash. She uh she had apparently the engine of the plane was a mini uh, uranium uh, reactor, so that helps them get um you know they kind of explains why they'll have, still have some of their technology and stuff working in this uh, new world and all that fantasy and magic and we do find out this world does uh, possess magic and humans are capable of learning it so I'm really excited to see which of uh, the uh, protagonists are going to learn magic if not all of them learn magic because I'm pretty sure they will because they're all geniuses in their own right and by the end of the uh, by the end of this episode and all that um, the villagers are being harassed by some human soldiers from from like a, from like some kingdom or something like like down the road or whatever and obviously the kids they don't like this so they handle it and they let you know that not all of the none, none of these kids are like weak by any means you know like because even the uh miko gami who would think you know the prime minister he probably doesn't know anything but no he knows a little bit of hand-to-hand -hand combat and the soldiers come to attack him um, and he you know he handles business he doesn't kill them but he you know he's like you know, we can keep going if you want, but I, you know, I got you. And then also you had the swordsman there. And also I might add, the journalist is, uh, she is from a Shinobi clan, so she is, she has ninja skills. So these kids are good. They they are no pushovers, and I'm really excited. It's just like I said, the main thing about this is it is an isekai, but they kind of skip some of the boring stuff, like you know, exposition on who you are, why you're here. It's like, look, we don't know why we're here. We're gonna find out. But in the meantime. We gonna set up. Uh, we gonna set things up and get ourselves straight and get the people who helped us out straight too. Obviously, because you know they didn't have to do this out of them, but they did it at the kindness of their heart. And they showed them nothing but just hospitality. The people love them. The children in the village love them. It, it, it's it's a really good show, and I'm going I'm going to uh, continue doing. I'm gonna do reviews for this one. I'm not gonna do reactions for it because My Hero Academia uh, is dropping. As a part of this recording, it drops like this Saturday and all that. So I'm going to be covering, I'm going to do reactions for that. I'm going to be doing reviews. So I'm trying, because the problem I have with just doing stuff like this is I, I choose a lot of shows and I bite off more than I can chew and I don't end up just finishing because it just gets like, a, it gets a little bit overwhelming for me and I have a lot of stuff that I do just during the week. But I'm going to try and do a review for this uh, show every week because I am actually really excited about this anime and all that. Um, it looks really, it looks really promising. Um, like I said, it, it does have a light novel adaptation. I do not know how many volumes are out. Um, I'm going to leave a link, and uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description for at least the first volume. Now the rest of them, I mean, I'm pretty sure Amazon or whoever. Has it. But guys, uh, if you've seen this show or if you've read it before and got the uh, this anime, uh, tell me what you think about it. Like I said, I am thoroughly uh, enjoying it just from this first episode, from this first impression that I got. Um, like I said, it's another isekai title. I don't mind isekai titles, but it's just sometimes they just get like they, they just get too predictable. This one, from what I can tell, is not very predictable, and they they have done some things differently that they normally do in these isekai uh, anime but uh, for the most part I am entertained and if you don't know anything about me as long as I am entertained by whatever it is a video game or a show I can roll with it now will I preach and be like this is the best thing since uh, pudding no I won't if it doesn't deserve that title I won't give it to it but that won't stop me from enjoying, enjoying
enjoying it for what it is. But guys, do the stuff that I normally tend to do. Hit the bell for notifications for when I drop my videos and actually go check the notifications because once again, YouTube be tripping. Um, I know it don't notify y'all when I drop content sometimes, but uh, go down in the description below. I have a Discord. Come chat it up with the other, uh, with my other uh, subs and all that. Thing. It's a lot of fun. I'm trying to, wait, I'm trying to make a big happy family here. But guys, I've done enough talking. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Whether you watch it during the day, evening, night, wherever you are, or and all that. Have a great day, and it's your boy Fox.